Well, we nearly got to the end of the road that time. Let's try again. Spoke too soon. Good morning. Only just morning. We've had three attempts at getting out the door. <laughs> oh, lovely sunny day. About two degrees. Sort of says it might go down to freezing, but um, it's lovely and bright. Crisp breeze, but not too much wind. And uh, we're going out to the forest to find some gravel. This will be our first ride since Tuesday. Um, lockdown finished. And uh, it's good to get the legs turning again. I've had to put an awful lot of sealant in these before the sidewalls would stop weeping, so... Oh, hello, lots of water. Um, I reckon they weigh about a kilogram each now. Certainly feel like it. <laughs> yeah, that's got my shoe covers a bit wet. Come on, up to the bigger gear. You can do it. No, or maybe not. No. Okay. Oh dear. Come on, bike. Oh. Okay. I have to get Mike on that because I can't stay in the granny gear for the whole of the ride. Don't know what's going on with Julie's bike all of a sudden. 27 days of perfection. And then, uh, yeah, everything falls apart. Both the front and the rear derailleur, totally out of trim. There you go. Either Julie's being kind to me today, or she's just having a bimble. Because, uh, yeah, she's taking it easy, let's say. I'm not going to say any more than that, just in case I get into trouble. It is a beautiful day, and it's definitely warming up in the sun. This is actually part of uh, National Cycle Network Route 2. It goes all the way along the south coast. Yeah. Just answer me a question. What's that? Why have I got a silent freewheel? Uh, because I put new grease in there. Ah, okay. Oh. You alright? Yeah, yeah, I got caught on a route there. Yeah, watch the route, so yeah. Ah, horses. Let's slow down a little bit. Oh, I haven't done any of this for ages. Ages and ages. I'm a bit nervous, actually. Because obviously, yeah, everything behaves differently in this sort of weather. We've never turned right here before, have we? Maybe one day we'll try it. Oh, fantastic. It's great being out here again. There was actually a group ride today. <laughs> but uh, 13 people put down for it. And with us two as well. Obviously that would have been sort of two and a bit groups. Chances were, of course, that not all 13 would turn up. Oh, yeah. um, so we decided to stay away from it just because then they could have two, you know, two groups and it would work quite nicely with no, no spares, as it were. And of course, Julie and I are 
fortunate in that we always have a riding partner. We're up to uh, Wooten Bridge, then across to the railway uh, into Brockenhurst. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> You're right. Well, good start, wasn't it? Big cliff. <laughs> You're right. Yeah, that was a bit big to go up. Look. Oh, it was a bit. <laughs> oh well. Different. Good start. Yeah, look, just look so you know what you did. It was just too steep to get up at that angle. That's it. Oh, bruised, bruised thigh. Yeah. Come on, just go walk it off. Yeah, of course. By the way, that first bit's quite slippy. <laughs> nice little slide there. Front wheel went fine, but the back wheel didn't. Yeah, done that several times. That is the one you do. Yeah. I bounced. <laughs> These narrow wides weren't supposed to do that. Chain came off. Oh, chain came off. Yeah. Oh, okay. How old? Oh, I've got oily hands now. Oh, here we go. What's going on? Right. No chain off this time. Just a low gear, please. Let's see if we can do it this time. I did do it, but of course the GoPro cut out halfway up the hill. So, definitely going to be one of those rides. So I don't know what we're going to call this ride, but it's like a ride of misadventure. Took us three attempts to get out of the house. <laughs> Julie's gone and had a tumble. My gears just are indexed some of the time, but not all of the time. And then chain comes off when I'm going up the hill. Then I get to the next embankment and the GoPro cuts out halfway up, so yeah. <laughs> it's just one of those days. We'll probably get to the cafe now just as it's closing. So we'll see what happens. But one, the, one way or another, we're out having fun. I'm really glad I put my lights on because the way things are going, I'm not confident of getting home before dark. So. <laughs> Will she or won't she? This is the question. Well, it was never really in doubt, was it? Right, well, that's all I got. 25 mile an hour, downhill, 36.11. Definitely one of those rides today. Only one of the cafes is open. The other one's closed. So um, it looks like it's gonna be vending machine coffee and some sort of cake from whatever this is, co-op by the look of it. Actually, you're not even that dirty. I don't know how you do it. <laughs> <laughs> I will be absolutely covered in mud and I haven't fallen off yet. Julie falls on the ground, it's hardly a... Yeah, anyway. There you go. I'm a dirt magnet, she's not. <laughs> Coconut and sweet potato samosa thing. Hmm, very nice. It's made my coffee taste funny. No, I'm sorry, but Costa have made your coffee taste funny. <laughs> the donkeys? Brockenhurst is famous for its donkeys. Yeah, I switched the camera on there. Yeah. After we'd gone past the uh, donkeys. Okay. So I missed that completely. Okay, we won't include them in the edit then. Ha <laughs> 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 You can hear us coming. <laughs> Oh, the chain is on. Good. Right. Hopefully it will stay on to the top. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, there's another one behind me. Cool, you're a big one. Bet you're fast. <sighs> right, battery change. Hey! <laughs> Can't hear any screams, so I'm guessing Julie hasn't thrown herself on the ground this time. <laughs> well done. All right, back to Wooden Bridge. And uh, we're going to take a right after Wooden Bridge, get back on the gravel. Actually, it's quite a fun place to come with young kids in the summer. You can paddle in the river, muck about, it's great fun. Well, we're definitely not setting the world alight on this ride, <laughs> not with speed anyway. But uh, it's absolutely lovely out here, so really enjoying it. Not about speed anyway, is it? No, and of course, we both had bike problems, which sort of just wears away your confidence a little bit. Yeah, it makes you a bit sensitive. So, yeah. I think all the stuff on this bike's going in the bin and I shall start again. Julie's on the other hand, I think, just a stretch cable, so... Yeah, you think just a stretch cable? Yeah, I think so, because yeah. it seems to be working just fine. It's possible a bit of stone or something went up there and bent the cage a bit, but... The strange thing was, it happened before we got on the gravel. Yeah, I know, but we went through the water there as well, didn't we? So, yeah, but, yeah. I'll give it a check when we get back. Yeah. And of course, one of the things that will come out of this ride is that you've given Jodie Horde or something to think about now. Because <laughs> she'll say, you see, I told you, you need big chunky tyres. <laughs> but in truth, I don't think big chunky tyres would have saved you there. And it was, again, just a very, very small part of the ride we've done where chunky tyres might have helped. Yeah. <laughs> I can't see a flipping thing. It just got steeper. We're in the double figures. There we go, nearly done it, up to the top. Oh. Wheeler's at large mechanic is negotiating whether this, tightening of this, is classed as mechanic duties or not. Well I'm sure it's really, Actually, isn't that a domestique's job to do things like that? I'm not sure I'm a domestique. So. I don't need you anyway, I've done it. Oh okay, suit yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Off into the sunset. <laughs> we've done quite a few miles, Mike. Yeah, yeah, we've done about 40 by the time we get home. Yeah. Back on the road for the moment. Actually, that's the end of the gravel, isn't it? Oh, uh, yeah, pretty much. Yeah. yeah, that's the end of the gravel. We're back on the road. My fingers are uh, nice and warm. I've actually got two pairs of gloves on today. Uh, short, fingerless, and a pair of long over the top and uh, that's working nicely because I've got the padding stopping my hands from getting numb fingers which has worked well today it's been a really nice ride actually I've really enjoyed being off road again for a bit we haven't done that for ages and uh, yeah it was good fun even though I came a cropper as we first went onto it <laughs> but then I bounced well. Ah, cold feet, cold feet, cold feet. Complaining Mike. Complaining Julie? No, not really.
interesting it's one way it's actually one way so she's going the wrong way up a one-way street the bits on this bike that shouldn't work together so you know the Clark calipers with the giant conduct hydro converter and the SRAM levers that's worked perfectly it's just been outstanding the brakes have been great yeah, but the bits that are made, well not made to work together possibly, but the bits that are made by the same company and are supposedly compatible, great on the road, as soon as there's any dirt, it's just all over the place. I can be pushing the lever, it might change, it might not. It's almost like it's not connected. Well, I thought we might have just caught a train, but unfortunately it just went past. Oh, and there goes the other one the other way, so we're not going to see that one either. <laughs> oh, so close. Never mind. <laughs> so there you go. Ten past, yeah, ten past three on a Sunday. Two chances to see a train. <laughs> we missed them both. There we go. As I've already said, on more than one occasion, it's just one of those rides today, but it has been good fun. Though I must admit, I'm very glad we didn't take part in the group ride, because with all the messing about we've done with bike problems, uh, let's say, yeah, I don't think that would have been much fun in the cold for anybody, so, yeah, I'm glad we chose to go out, just the two of us. No rush, no problem at all. That's all right, you're having fun, aren't you? Absolutely. Well, that's good then. <laughs> oh, yeah, we found some mud. Here she comes. Hey, hey, it's Burger King. You know what that means. Yep, exactly two miles to get home. Don't, don't ask how I know that. We've just gone past Toby and oh, the smell, amazing. Absolutely amazing smell. Come out. <laughs> 